Okay, everybody, <clears throat> today we're going to learn how to make a lotion recipe. <clears throat> and we're going to go to Google and type in lotion batch, C A L C U L A T O R, lotion batch calculator. And the first one that pops up for me is Wholesale Supply Plus, Wholesale P Supply Plus calculator. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to market this, uh, give it a name, so lotion, um, <clears throat> shea butter light, we'll say. Um, and we're going to do, you, you figure out your volume according to how many jars you have. So let's get a calculator. Okay, and let's say you have eight eight ounce jars. So eight times eight equals 64. All right, so here in the volume, because you're gonna have some evaporation on your boiled water, <clears throat> you're going to put in, um, let's say 70 ounces. And that'll also give you a couple ounces for spillage and different things like that. All right, so the first ingredient is gonna be water. And uh, all you do is, is oh, and, you, and we're doing 70 ounces, but you can change that to pounds, milliliters, or grams. So we're doing 70 ounces of lotion. And on the water, uh, this is a light lotion, so we can go 70% water because we're doing a light lotion. If you are wanting a heavier lotion, the less the water, the thicker and heavier it will be. All right, <clears throat> and of course, uh, I'm going to have my first ingredient is being shea butter because shea butter is just absolutely rocks. Um, and so let's make it 10% shea butter. And now this is just three oils that I think just totally rock. Okay, A-R-G-O-N, argan oil. We'll do uh, 2%. And that's a sister nut to shea butter, so it has the same wonderful penetrating skills. And then olive oil. I mean, you can never go wrong with olive oil in a lotion. O-L-I-V-E. Oil. And we'll give 2% to that. Now, you can break this down any way you want to, but this is a light lotion. So if you add cocoa butter or hard oils in high amounts, that will add to the thickening process. So we've got 10% of shea butter, which is a, not a hard hard, but we, it's considered a hard oil because it's hard when at room temperature, where your argon and olive are not. So if you want, so if to like make sure it was super lighter, you could go down to 5% on the shea butter and, and then do, uh, um, let's say 4%. And 4% on the argon so you've got a stronger proportion of, of already liquid oils and uh, we're at 83% now we have a few things we have to do and that is our emulsifying wax I never spell it right yeah, let's see if it can figure out what Kimberly was trying to say. It so did. All right, so emulsifying wax. Now, every emulsifying wax brand is different. You'll go to get one brand, and it might it might say 4% for lotions. Um, the one I use requires 9%, I've always found. Um, and every once in a while, rarely, I did just recently have to add a little bit more, but most time, 9% does it. All right, and then we want our essential oils or fragrance. Uh, to be at 2% if it's essential oils. On fragrance, I think you can go up to 4%. And if you're doing a, like a pain cream, uh, things like that, you could boost your percentage. Um, if it's meant to only use, be put in one little space, like, you know, for a pain cream, you're just using it on joints and stuff. You're not coating the whole body. But if you're coating the whole body, 2% is, is the appropriate one, in my opinion. And then 4% if you're going to put warnings for it to not be used by small children and pregnant women. All right, so we need our emulsifying wax and our essential oil and our preservative. preservative which I of course misspelled but thanks to Google I'm not totally 
going to be stupid, 1%. Now, you'll see that, and um, uh, you'll have to check out other preservatives. I use Optifin, and I've used um, Germabin. Both of those are good at 1%, uh, but if you um, use a different brand, you're going to have to talk to the place where you bought it to see what uh, percentages they recommend. Uh, and if you're doing any kind of milk in there, goat's milk or whatever, which decays faster, then you might want to double the percentage or one and a half the percentage. Because with the milk, we've got a problem with um, a food, you know, super decay issue because it's milk. It goes back quick. All right, so we're at 94. When I did that, it went to 95. It was click off in the white area, it tells you. So we got to boost this thing up by 5%. Um, so since we're doing a light lotion, we could just add that to the water and that would do it. Or um, we could add some glycerin. And we could put that at 1%. Um, glycerin is great for the skin. Um, on the vitamin E, if you're using Essential Depot's vitamin E or if you're using uh, full strength vitamin E, I like to just squirt some in at the end because if you put it in at 1%, it'll make you want to put in like an ounce and that's just like way too much, I think. And then once you put something in at 0.5 or 0.25%, then you got to put the other 0.75 somewhere and it just makes it wild. Uh, I like to stay with whole numbers, but that's just me. So now we've got Argon, Olive, and Shea Butter. This is a light lotion, so we shouldn't go with Cocoa Butter uh, to get it thin. And Shea Butter was sort of pushing it. Uh, but I do love Shea Butter. Uh, so now you might put in, uh, we got 4% 4 4 left. So we might put in Avocado. And of course I didn't spell it right. But due to the miracles of Google, <laughs> Excuse me. All right, so now we have 100%. We can make any notes that we want and then hit calculate. And now it tells us exactly uh, how many ounces of water and all this stuff to put in this lotion. And over here it tells us the pounds and the milliliters and the grams. So like right here it's 1.4, but every once in a while you'll get something like 0.7, that's okay, but sometimes you'll get something that's like 0 0.01 or something, and it's not feasible to do it in ounces, so you can do that one over here in grams. Um, and so this is what you would do. You would boil your water, use distilled. Uh, you would heat up your oils, not your glycerin. Uh, you would melt your e-wax with your oils, if possible because it burns easy um, and you want it to be just as piping hot as the oils uh, then you would mix it all together with a stick blender uh, while it cools you would watch for any oil to pull up on the top and if no, no separation occurs then you're good if it does if separation does occur then adding some more e-wax melted e-wax with the stick blender is your is your answer um, probably like a half an ounce to an ounce at a time depending on the size of your batch. This is 70 so like a half an ounce to start. Um, and then you would cool your uh, lotion down to at least a, a below 160 to add your essential oils and or fragrance and then once it got down past 140 for the preservatives that I'm using but you'll have to check with your manufacturer if you're using something different than German or Optifin uh, I believe German is also 140. It could be 120. So you better watch about German. And it's been a while since I used that. When I used the Optifin, it's 140. Then you would add your preservative, stick blending each time until thoroughly blended, and then pour into jars quickly because it must go in hot or it gets all thick and goopy on you and you can't make a pretty um, jar. Now you're going to have some foam around the top. Um, uh, that's just one of the things you get with natural, you know. Uh, recipes and then you can come down here and print recipe and then hit print recipe again right there and you've got it uh, to take and make your fun with now uh, let's say we wanted to make instead of a light we wanted to make a heavy night cream all right and um, let's say uh, we have enough jars for a hundred ounces 
of that and so we'll change the amount of the batch and you could do this keep all these factors and like right here if I put eight if I put eight ounces and hit calculate it's going to tell me how much of each ingredient to just make eight ounces and you'll probably have to get over in the grams to do it um, so this is this is easy any amount once you get your factors in there at 100 percent so we're going to go 100 ounces we're going to do the water down to 50 percent and let's see what we have eight so we've got to build up 20 percent well first thing we want to do is add cocoa butter because cocoa butter is a hard oil and it's awesome but we, since we're doing a thicker cream we're cool with it so we can add five percent there that gets us down to just needing 15 percent i think and then on our shea butter we can bring it up to 20 making me totally happy and we have a hundred so now we've reduced our water and there we go and then all we do is just hit calculate and there it is that tells us how much we need of each item right over here and same thing make any notes you want print the recipe there you go all right now what if we wanted to make body butter <laughs> all right we would remove the water and remove the water and the emulsifying wax would change to bees wax and I, bl I believe it's around six percent you double check that before you go with it on that and so now we're at 42 percent so see we're going to totally bump things up here in the cocoa butter we're going to do 20 and we're going to take the uh, uh, avocado we're going to take that out because um we don't need as much liquid oils because we want it to be solid. Olive oil and argon oil is enough, but we will pull those up to 8%. Remember, cautiousness, you have to add more and more beeswax the more liquid uh, oils you put in there, but then that hurts the consistency and gives it more of a waxy feel to the skin. All right, so we're at 66%, so I'm gonna pop that up to 40 percent on the shea butter now we're getting more like it here let's see uh cocoa butter 20 percent let's see maybe we'll go 60 percent on the shea butter ah that pulls us up at 106 so that won't work so 54 should do it now we're at 100 so we've got our hard oils at higher amounts 20 and 54 percent we've got our liquid oil still at small percentages glycerin still at one beeswax at six and i think it's six to nine percent uh depending on how stiff or you need it compared to your liquid oil so it's always good to change this to like eight ounces and do eight ounces of a recipe let it sit overnight and see what the consistency is to see whether you need more or less beeswax for that particular recipe once you've started you know once you've used the recipe all the time you'll know but with body butter depending on your liquid to hard oil ratio it can be variables as to how thick it turns out and or how much beeswax you need if you get crystals the next day where it looks like little crystals have formed all in it that's the cocoa butter or shea butter going back to a, a separating and going to a solid state and that means more beeswax that'll keep uh, everything uh, emulsified and, and an evener consistency so if you get irregular uh, liquid or too thin or crystals it's more beeswax if it's too thick feels waxy on the skin it's less beeswax all right so that is how to make a lotion and or body butter recipe and remember to always sterilize everything with dawn dish detergent and bleach and then spray everything with that 91 percent alcohol they sell at the dollar general store in walmart um, and wipe clean with paper towels and always keep everything super sanitary while you're making lotion you put bacteria in the jar before you, you know in the mixture you know before it even gets started trying to protect itself with the preservative it's already got bacteria growing in it 
then your lotion is not going to last you a long time. Uh, you need something that's going to stay with you a long time. So keep your um, product, keep everything as clean as possible when you're making lotion. Turn yourself into a little science lab and lay paper towel bleach counters and surfaces and lay down clean paper towels and, and just be really, really super sanitary. All right? Okay, that's how to do it. Thanks for watching.